Ujwala, I am from Delhi. Yay, Laula, Bangalore. Got it. Got it. So Ankita, Anita is ready. Laula is ready. Who else? Is everyone ready? Ujwala is ready. What about others, guys? Ayushi ready. Brilliant. So now that all of us are ready, let's begin. So today, in this session, here are three things that we will learn. The first is that today we will learn the three phases of wealth creation. Second, we'll learn the steps to create wealth and how do we do it? How can you do it yourself? The third step is that you will learn what are assets and liabilities and you will learn how to calculate your net worth. So these are the three things that you will learn in the webinar today. And let's go forward now. So you know what, guys, let me give you a few stats about women. Only one in three Indian women take charge of their finances. So only 33% women are taking charge of their finances. And those 33% who are taking charge of their finances, they are doing it with their own will. Like they are managing their money without depending on their husband, father, broker. And today with you guys showing up here, informs us that you are wanting to be a part of that 33% or you're already a part of that 33%. And I want to congratulate each one of you because you're taking this big move of going beyond the traditional setting that we have in India and going beyond our own conditioning and wanting to take charge of your finances. A little bit about us, we are Women on Wealth and what we do is we help women take charge of their finances. So we run online financial training and coaching programs so that women can learn how they can manage their money and how they can grow it effectively. We've now been operational for the last nine years and we have helped over 4,000 women. They've become debt free, they've come out of living paycheck to paycheck. They today save at least 25% more than they ever saved. Many women have learned how to pick good quality stocks, how to pick good investments without depending on their husband, father, broker. Some women have managed to buy their own property, start their own businesses, and some today are recognized as the finance ministers of their house. So guys, if you look at finance, it has majorly been a male domain in our families. And our intention at Women on Wealth is to make it gender free so that more and more women can take charge of their finances and they can like really go beyond the conditioning that they have as women. So what we believe at Women on Wealth truly guys is that Finance is a system. Everyone can learn it. It has really nothing to do with gender. It's not a gender role. It's a life skill. Like cooking is a life skill. There are so many other life skills. The same way is finance. And what we are committed to is women learning this system. Women learning this system and taking on what you know finances mean for them like really taking charge of that moving on how we help women okay so we run six courses so these are like i said training and coaching programs so the first program is called the money gym women on wealth money gym program which is a personal finance blueprint program the second program is the Art of Picking Quality Stocks for Beginners. Third is Debt to Freedom Intensive by Sheetal. 
Relationship and Money Intensive by Meera and Kushali. Kids and Money is by Bina, and we run premium one-on-one -on -one coaching services. So these are the six training and coaching programs that we run at Women on Wealth, which we've developed as a system, so that you can really manage your finances and take care of them. And here are some of the um, free sessions that you can really take advantage from. So we run a lot of Facebook lives six days a week. So on Monday, we run coffee conversations with our program graduates that Hira runs. She's here with us. Tuesday, 10 a.m., we run the decoding of the ED Wealth newspaper. Wednesday, 5 p.m. on Zoom, we run the online money book club discussion. This is a free money book club for women that we run. Thursday, 5 p.m. live is the My Investment Mastery series. Friday, 10 a.m. live is decoding of the Economic Times newspaper. And Sunday, 10 p.m. on Zoom are candid community conversations by Sheetal, who is here with us. And guys, let me introduce you to our team. So Hira, Sheetal, Bina, can you say hi? Many of you have come here because of them. Hello. Hello. Have fun. <laughs> yes. So that's Hira, Sheetal, Bina, we couldn't hear you. So just jump in because Hello. guys, yes. Hi. <laughs> so we, you know what guys, we are nothing without our team. No Women on Wealth can run without its team. I'm very clear about it because we all together do all the dirty work that's required at Women on Wealth to run it impeccably well. So th this is our team, which is with us um, to take care of you, guide you and contribute to you through this journey today. A little bit now about me. So guys, I am uh, Priyanka Bhatia and I'm the co-founder lead consultant at Women on Wealth. And if you ever thought that you need to be, uh, you know, you need to be somebody from a finance background, you got to be working in an investment bank, you got to be great at maths. I am none of this. I am a master's in journalism. That's what my education is in. I used to work as a reporter with news agencies like the Press Trust of India, United News of India and more where I had a great salary and I used to spend it on branded shoes, clothes, bags. This goes back to 2006. I always wanted to create wealth and I didn't know how to do that. And I got a big shock when one of my male colleagues ended up buying a property. He was at the same position as mine, same salary as mine. And he ended up buying a property while I had not even managed to save that much money. So that's where my quest to wealth began. And I thought the first person to take guidance from is my dad. And like any well-meaning man, my dad said, why don't you do fixed deposits, PPF? I did those, all the traditional investments. And I realized that the rate of return was really low. I had big goals then. I wanted to buy my own property in Delhi and CR, earn from my investments. I ultimately build a corpus for my business. And I knew none of those goals were possible if I just continue to manage my money the way I was managing and invested the way I was investing. I knew I had to take some different actions to get a different result. And one of the different actions that showed up for me was checking with this male colleague of mine. When I did that, he mentioned that he invests in the stock market. Straight I went ahead opened a DMAT account, got myself a broker, started buying and selling whatever my broker told me to do. Only to realize in 2008 that I lost 90% of what I had invested. And at that time, I was so lost, sad and disgusted that I thought wealth creation was not for me. I just gave up. I thought, chuck it, leave it and let me just continue with my job and that's about it. And that's exactly what I did. I, you know, kind of gave up until I met my mentor. So I found a stock investor, a property investor, a serial entrepreneur and a business coach. And when these guys begin to guide me, they gave me small exercises to do. 
and financial clarity began to emerge in my life like i exactly knew how much money was coming into my life how much money was going out where that money was going how much money i needed to reach my financial goals what were my financial goals how much i need to invest where my stock investor mentor taught me a step by step methodology to pick good quality stocks i never knew that there was an entire science and art behind stock investing or investing as a whole i learned the step by step methodology to pick good mutual funds and i built an entire investment portfolio without depending on anybody completely on my own research and understanding boom it was different i started making 70000 rupees in 120 minutes in the stock market i started earning from my investments a time came where i was earning more than what my expenses were earning from my investments were more than what my expenses were and i knew i could take up a meaningful project in my life and i didn't need to be in a job so and by then i had also bought a property in delhi ncr so i quit my job and came into women on wealth full time 2011 guys we started women on wealth and today we are four women who run a community of 4000 women together and our community is spread across india and abroad and we are completely online we've been covered just yesterday by the and not yesterday day before on friday by ndtv 247 news channel also in the past we've been covered by the bbc news z business news channel uh, hindustan times femina magazine entrepreneur magazine also sherry blair who's wife of mr tony blair wrote about us personally in the huffington post and she came to india specially to visit us in our delhi office and offered us the india partnership for her foundation and now we nominate women for their programs abroad so this is pretty much about who i am what we do and the kind of difference that we've caused so let me share about that so prema gurung who is one of our very very old member she is a married woman she was about 40 when she came to us in 2013 she was in debt was living paycheck to paycheck her husband was working she was a home baker and within 20 months 22 months of learning the system in the money gym program personal finance blueprint program she learned the system implemented the system and paid off her entire debt of 20 lakh rupees in 22 months anjali dogra who is a doctor again about 45 years old <clears throat> married came to our community with two kids no savings and just in the last 18 months of being in the system and being in the community she's managed to save over 16 lakh rupees in just 18 months kushali gandhi who's about 35 right now she's a psychotherapist turned investor and she learned investing from us independently started managing and making her investment decisions no dependence on anybody in her life and she's multiplied her money by over 100% in 6 years time roli gupta about 39 she became confident about managing her finances and investments started doing that and one day her father in law handed over the entire family's investments to her for her to take care of and said that you the finance minister of the house so these are just some snapshots of our women who succeeded in our work at women on wealth so now moving forward let's begin with the three of uh, with the three most important aspects that we said that we will work on today you can stay connected with us on all these videos especially make sure you're on facebook with us because we run a lot of facebook lives which you can take benefit from so to begin let's begin with the three secrets now and secret one the three phases of wealth creation and phase number 
is the accumulation phase guys do make sure you making notes and treat us like a money school for women because financial education is something which is completely missing from our school and college system and our attempt is to bring that in so please make notes so three phases of wealth creation phase number 1 guys is the accumulation phase where we begin to accumulate the money we begin to save it and accumulate it the second phase of wealth creation is the growth phase where we begin to grow our money and the third phase is the income phase where we begin to generate an investment income where we begin to generate an alternate source of income and income from our investments so these are the three phases of wealth creation so let's start talking about these the first phase like we said is the accumulation phase guys can you start typing are all of you managing to accumulate your money can all of you save just say yes if you manage to save your money just say yes in the chat okay ujwala got it namrata rashmi yes got it guys now that's the first phase of wealth creation it begins there anita in a limited way that's perfect limited way works too yes now guys let's come to phase number 2 the growth phase so how many of you managed to grow your money just say yes if you manage to grow your money no okay not much okay gigi ujwala no rashmi a little okay yes but again market dependent got that anita raisa no namrata yes okay guys let me share a bit about the growth phase sometimes we think that by um investing in a fixed deposit we are in the growth phase of our wealth creation it's not that let me share how so before i share that let me ask you imagine guys that there is a broker an agent who is offering you a policy where you are where it's telling you that okay for the next 10 years you put 1 lakh rupees every year and at the end of 20 years you will receive 22 lakh rupees so for the first 10 years you're putting 1 lakh rupees every year so in total you're putting 10 lakh rupees at the end of 20 years you're receiving 22 lakh rupees back would you invest no okay why why so why wouldn't you invest guys rashmi anita ujwala why wouldn't you guys invest okay there's hardly any growth okay inflation would make the value too low <laughs> okay it sounds good and trust you me a lot of us buy such schemes because inflation is not in the view we just look at the absolute numbers that okay i put 10 lakh rupees i received 22 lakh rupees back that's how we look at these schemes in absolute numbers yes you can see 10 lakhs became 22 lakhs but actually that 22 lakhs in 20 years time will be worth only 8.2 lakh so by putting in 10 lakh rupees you're just receiving 22 lakhs which will only manage to buy goods or items worth 8.2 lakh rupees now that's inflation which is taking away the purchasing power of your money and often when we are in the growth phase we forget about this inflation is not in our view 
if you look at your savings account it's giving you about a 2% rate of return if you look at fixed deposits it's giving you a 4% rate of return and now if you look at inflation it's about 7% that's what it was reported for the month of august okay. now if you grow your money in the savings account by 2% and the inflation is 7% you're losing money each day while it may not show up like that because no money is going out of your account but the purchasing power of it is reducing you can't see it but well some of us do experience it sometimes now that's not growth phase so for all of you who said yes my money is growing in case you said it with this context okay, i want to kind of you know bring you back on track that that's not being in the growth phase okay. so we are still somewhere in the accumulation phase if we are going ahead with savings account or fixed deposits or lic policies or such what's important is for us to be able to beat inflation and that's what going in the growth phase means so how many of you are beating inflation in your portfolios how many of you are beating inflation because that's like being in the growth phase <laughs> or is inflation beating us <laughs> i like that shital okay okay anita is saying i don't think so i am doing it but what about others raisa ayushi rashmi Aurelia, Ujwala, Minakshi, Namrata, Laila, Narkat, Jyoti. A lot of you are here. Preeti, Sangeeta, everybody. Okay, Ratna is saying no. Laila is saying no. Swetha, Gigi, jump in. Jump in. The more you engage, the more you learn. Okay. Rashmi is saying she's investing in stocks for the last one year. So since then she is. Before that she wasn't. Got that, Rashmi? Great. So you are in the growth phase then. Congratulations. Okay. So when you are generating, Ujwala is asking that she would like to know the definition of beating inflation. So Ujwala, when you are generating over seven percent return. like that's beating inflation because say cent is inflation then you you're generating returns on your investments which are more than that because then only can you reach your goals so guys on this note it brings me to a conversation that okay if most of us are not growing our money is um you know will we manage to reach our financial goals without growing our money just say i will manage or i will not can you manage my question is can you manage to reach your goals without growing your money okay anita is saying she's clear she cannot manage to do that no way <laughs> yeah rashmi no not a chance right namrata ayushi yes guys now start typing what are your goals what are those financial goals that you have they could be your you know your dreams that you have which you want to really make happen they could be buying your own property in delhi ncr or in your city in your hometown building your own business collecting a fund for kids higher education your retirement fund your own higher education okay ujwala saying my husband is managing that done <laughs> yes that's what is called dependence right that's what we women are trained ujwala i get you 
sure jia ji ji got it property okay buying your own property ratna taking a world tour building an education fund okay what else so ratna has her goals absolutely clear what about others rashmi being able to travel okay <laughs> without scrimping i like that okay so travel is another thing okay which is coming big time what about others what are your goals guys healthy source of income until death got that anita extra funds for kids education holidays living a good lifestyle eventually buying a property in my name yes and having surplus for emergencies got that anita brilliant okay buying a property okay buying a property besides the ambani's got i want to retire early says gigi got that okay and i don't want to work for too long got that gigi thank you so now tell me guys i mean it's not that you came to this session and all these dreams showed up for you like these dreams were there right already like you wanted to buy your own property you already wanted to take that world tour you you know kind of have money for anything that i want to be doing so for how long have you guys been having these goals could you start sharing for how long you guys have been having these okay rashmi saying too long Ujwala recently in your case, four five years for Anita, too long for Ratna, long time for Raisa. Got that? Got that? So it's been a long, long time, right? And we've been sitting on these goals, and today is an opportunity for each one of you to take them, okay? Make your dreams your reality, like today. build this gap between your dream and your reality so today is your time so coming back to the growth phase guys if you do not grow your money you're not going to go beyond the inflation rate you're not going to grow your money and then you will never reach these goals so if these goals are at stake for you the only way to get there is growing your money and growing your money not in fixed deposits or savings account like i explained beat inflation and take your money life to the next level because your goals are at stake the third conversation the third phase is the income phase where you begin to generate an income from your investment so when i say begin to generate an income you know like i met a lot of women during these corona times who said i you know i really wish i had another source of income i wish i wasn't dependent on this job or business to take care of my expenses so i think a lot of us or for some of us you know it has shown up it has gotten present for all of us that So we all need to have multiple sources of income and investment could do that for you so where you can generate an income and all these three phases run simultaneously guys i know a lot of people telling me that oh i cannot grow my money because i do not save a whole lot Oh, you do not need to save a whole lot to grow your money or to generate an income. These three phases run simultaneously. So you save simultaneously. You begin to grow your money, and simultaneously you begin to generate an income from these investments. So all these three run simultaneously for all of us. And as your, you know, as you accumulate more. and grow your money more the income increases as well 
the alternate source of income how many of you are scared of growing your money just say me i'm scared of growing my money nobody is scared chalo guys quickly tell me who all are scared okay i'm scared about stocks say swetha Nakshi saying I'm not scared, but I don't know where to start. Okay, Gigi saying I'm not at all scared. It seems money is scared. <laughs> okay, not scared of growth. Yeah, scared of the method. Priya, I'm scared. Got that? Not scared, but I don't know how to go about it. Got that, Raisa? Right, yeah. Some of us don't know how to go about it. Some of us. like don't know you know like some of us are actually scared of jumping in because we may have seen a lot of people lose money in the process and we kind of stay away from growing our finances we kind of stick to being in the accumulation phase only and let me share another cost of just being in the accumulation phase so say that all of you all of us have accumulated 1 crore rupees and we do not you know kind of invest this 1 crore rupees we just keep it with ourselves for the next 25 years so at 6% inflation guys i'm not even taking 7% inflation at 6% inflation this 1 crore will be worth only 23 lakh rupees in 25 years time so if you don't get into action you don't learn how to do this or if you don't go beyond and build your attitude as an investor you're not going to reach these goals and i'm not saying this because i want to scare you but i want to really open your eyes to reality today because some of us just keep sitting there believing that somebody else will do it for us or you know one day some day apne aap hi ho jayega we kind of kind of keep sitting in all these myths and let me today share this with each one of you like tell me guys can you all diet for me and i lose weight say yes or no can you all diet for me and i will lose weight can that happen no yes can't happen right like if i want to lose weight no way absolutely right if i want to lose weight then i am the one who has to follow a certain diet and if i want to be physically fit then i need to be exercising like nobody can exercise for me the same way is for wealth creation nobody else can make money for you you got to be the one who needs to make money for herself so no broker no advisor husband anybody cannot make money for you you got to be taking charge of your finances and making that wealth happen Now, guys, let's go to secret number two for today. Let me start sharing. Secret number two. A lot of you today said, "Hey, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to reach my financial goals. I don't know how this happens." So today, we've broken it down into steps. that you can implement right now in your life the first is resolving to start many of you said it's been a long time since i've just been thinking about these goals i've not done much about them as yet today 
can you resolve to start today can you say enough of like procrastinating enough of waiting enough of kind of you know kind of looking at okay one day it will happen can i just say enough today and resolve to start can you say resolved in the chat if you're resolving to start today no matter what like really no matter what i would like to see each one of you typing in now like each one ah huh. this is the day got that everyone yeah enough of waiting enough of kind of thinking it will happen on its own some day something will happen no so now that you've resolved to start here's the next step which is to learn to research guys finance is a system like i said earlier it has nothing to do with gender role it has nothing to do with great math skills or being great with numbers being good with finance anything it has nothing to do with all that it is a skill build skill based exercise managing your money growing it reaching your goals it's all skill based one of the most important parts is learning how to research learning how do i research my investments what is that step by step methodology to pick good mutual funds like most of us would depend on brokers advisors colleagues to tell us which are the good mutual funds to buy in we rely on tips guys tell me there with so many tips around the world if tips could make us reach our financial goals we all would have reached there we didn't need financial education there was no need for financial education if you know we could just take tips invest and that's it we all would have been in the growth phase of our finances but most of us said no we aren't there how come with so many tips we aren't there because nobody else can make money for us you can't follow tips and expect to create wealth so learning to research learning what is that methodology to pick good mutual funds to pick good stocks to pick good investments you all need to educate yourself in the methodology and then implement the methodology to pick your own investments that is step number 2 how many of you didn't even know that there was a methodology to pick good investments just say didn't know if you didn't know got it raisa got it unarkat yeah so many of us yeah we have no clue like it was an eye opening you know it was an eye opener for me when my mentors introduced me to this methodology i never knew that this was a science and an art and it wasn't just experts who knew about got so guys that's step 2 now step number 3 you may resolve to start you may learn the methodology but if you do not build your attitude as an investor you're not going to get there when we're saying attitude as an investor we're saying somebody who's willing to learn at all times somebody who's persistent disciplined somebody who's willing to work together with other people somebody who's not a loner 
somebody who knows that things change and we need resilience in the process so i'm just sharing some of the attitudes of a financially successful person and we all need to build this for our own financial goals next step know that mentors are a key guys like i'm clear had my mentors not been there had they not guided me the way they guided me they financially educated me they never ever gave me advice they financially educated me they gave me the methodology they gave me the process the system to get there and i got in there so mentors are a key people who done it themselves i'm not talking about advisors here I'm talking about people who done it themselves without depending on an advisor a broker a husband and they reach their own financial goals so mentors are a key last step community being a community of investors so guys we are all equal to five people around us if those five people are financially successful people we'll be financially successful too like there's no way we won't reach financial success by accompanying ourselves with you know people who are on the same mission as us people who are on the same page as us like like again let me go back to my example of being healthy if i want to be healthy i want to be physically fit i got to kind of be in an environment which is constantly reminding me of my commitment to be healthy and that environment which is constantly engaging me in conversations around this it has people who are using certain you know who using certain kind of diet plan certain kind of exercises they know how to get there and if i become a part of that group i'll get there too and trust you me i've done this enough times to succeed in my own life in various areas so guys taking you back on all these steps once more step number 1 is resolving to start and resolving to start today enough of waiting enough time has gone step 2 learning to research learning what is that step by step methodology to manage my finances to increase my savings to come out of living paycheck to paycheck to build that kids higher education fund to build you know my investments what is the methodology and that's the system building the attitude of an investor somebody who's willing to learn at all times be persistent disciplined and more mentors are a key and community is the secret success ingredient so that's step 2 guys i want some of you to start typing what are you learning okay. we're in the middle of the session what are you learning right now before we move on to step number 3 i would like to hear from some of you people what are you getting okay you got to be intentional about your goals got it is intentionality enough you could ask yourself laula ujwala confidence to take charge of my finances that's what you're taking away got it i cannot be casual about the process beautiful rashmi power of learning networking yes gigi 
Jyoti, learning about myself, my thoughts about money. Huh, you have to do it yourself. Absolutely, Gigi. Nobody else can do it for you. Yeah. There has to be a systematic approach to managing finances and growing your wealth. You need to be involved fully in the process. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yes, Anita. Sweta is saying, I have a system in place. Okay, having a system in place is what she's taking away. Discipline and persistence will be the key. Yes, brilliant guys. I'm glad. I'm glad that you guys are focusing on your financial growth and you know digging for value because we can create all the value, but if you don't dig for the gold, you won't get it. So I'm glad that you are engaging with us constantly and all of you are not participating as yet. I invite you to do that right now. Let's move forward. Step number three, calculating, knowing your net worth. Guys, one of the most important parts of the system is knowing, identifying what is your current financial situation. One of the important aspects inside of identifying your current financial situation is identifying your net worth, your financial worth. How do you calculate this? Number one, you learn about assets. So assets are anything that will grow in value over a period of time. Please note this down. Assets are anything that will grow in value over a period of time. They could be stocks, mutual funds, policies, fixed deposits, savings account, gold coins, Please do not include gold jewelry because we never sell that jewelry to generate an investment income. There is an emotional value attached to it and we mostly pass this jewelry on to our daughters and daughters-in-law. So let's not include that in our assets. So those are the list of your assets. Second to calculate is liabilities. Liabilities are all the loans that you have. So all the items that take money out of your pocket are liabilities. What are these personal loan, credit card loans, car loans, friendly loans, business loans, property loans? These are all liabilities. Items that take money out of your pocket. And assets minus liabilities is your net worth. So let me show you how to calculate this. So on the left side of your notes, list down all the assets that you have. Let me repeat, savings account, you know, money lying in savings account, money lying is cash, fixed deposits, any property in your name, gold coins, not gold jewelry guys, okay? Gold coins, stocks, mutual funds, all of these are assets. So list the items down, which are your assets, and then say how much money is lying in each asset. You do not have to disclose the amounts here. This is for your exercise. This is for your identification of your current financial situation. So calculate assets like this. The same way on the right hand side, write down liabilities. All the loans you have and how much that loan is. And then your net worth niche calculate karna or likna assets minus liabilities is your net worth. Why not gold jewelry? Because we never sell it. It's not really an asset. It's not really an investment. It's just something that we pass on to our daughters and daughters-in-law. We'll never sell it. No, Anita. Expenses are not liabilities. So loans are liabilities. Any of you who has no assets, no liabilities, any of you here? 
one of you has joined as iphone could you rename yourself please so that we know who you are also there's galaxy c9 pro could you rename yourself so that we know who you are please two of you iphone and galaxy phone even punar card okay so three of you <laughs> so guys please start typing any of you who has no assets no liabilities in her name so you have nothing in your name yes mutual funds are assets ujwala yes jyoti absolutely we never get the full value you're right so sweta house will come in assets and housing loan will come in liabilities that's how you'll calculate any of you here who doesn't know who knows that yes i have some assets in my name but i don't know how much that's worth could you write that if you are one of them yeah so term life insurance health insurance will not come priya got it ayushi ujwala thanks for sharing that hey i i know there are there's some things in my name i don't know the amounts got it are these investments done by you or somebody in the family did it for you ask yourself that because most of us women like have our families doing stuff or not doing stuff for us we are never like really taking charge got that it will a family yeah so you would not know absolutely i get you i get you and what you need to tell yourself is no shame no blame if you knew any better you would have done that by now you didn't know any better this is our conditioning speaking this is our conditioning as women that it's okay to depend on other people to manage money take care of finances while we take care of the household kids and other activities and well the world is changing and that's why women on wealth is here <laughs> so no shame no blame okay ujwala everybody else do you know the amounts just say yes if you know them so that i know that yes you're calculating roughly okay rashmi rashmi knows it roughly got it okay or earlier done guys all of you who has who have calculated if you know the amounts and you've calculated just say calculated so that i know you're done a uh, loan is in your husband's name then it's his liability so not your uh, net worth but it will show up in the family net worth raisa has calculated aurelia has calculated got that raisa what is your learning from your net worth anita roughly calculated start typing what is your learning from your net worth cars are not assets ujwala no anything that will grow in value over a period of time that's the definition of assets car the moment you take it out of the showroom has depreciated in value it's gone down in value so it's not an asset everybody has calculated just say yes no so that we know yes rashmi okay rashmi start sharing what is it that you learned from your net worth from your own calculation of your net worth jyoti ratna please start sharing 
what did you learn all of you who couldn't calculate because probably you don't have any assets you don't have any liabilities you don't know the amounts your family is doing that for you so start typing what is it that you're learning about your current financial situation from your net worth okay ratna is saying i'm in losses that's fine ratna no shame no blame remember that's our mantra okay because we women tend to get there quite a lot and my intention is that we go beyond that because that's where we can take action on what we've resolved to be on anita is saying her net worth is in green but it is so small i might not even be able to take a foreign holiday in that amount got that anita i get you ayushi is sharing that she got that she's supremely dependent brilliant brilliant guys anybody else what have you gotten from your net worth exercise or from all the exercises now coming together because you've completed work on all the three secrets for today i have more assets than liabilities but they're not doing anything for me they're almost lying idle if invested at the right place they might have given me much much better returns your full discovery rashmi that's big you know jiji is saying i've gotten that i need to increase my net worth jyoti has shared that i have only 1% and i need to work on the rest 99% to live a desired life got that jyoti beautiful guys so any questions before we move forward any of you has any questions that you want to ask or share start typing guys time for some questions got that jyoti you want to increase your net worth iPhone and Galaxy C9 Pro. Please make sure you rename yourself so that we know you were here and you attended the session. Got that? Rashmi has gotten that too. Guys, do you have no questions? In case you have no questions, just type in no questions, and I'll move forward. Okay, Ayushi, you want to know more about the stock market? So let me let me share this. You know, stocks are companies which are listed in the stock market. stocks are companies listed in the stock market if you and i at least i have done that my mentor did that with me that she taught me that there was a step by step methodology to pick these stocks and the methodology was dependent on the financial health of these companies so if the companies are doing well financially they will do well in the stock market in the long run there is no get rich quick scheme here but you stick to the system you learn the method you identify okay how do i judge that this company's financial health is good if you have judged that you know that this company this stock will make money for you and it will help you reach your goals so that's how you do it Okay, no questions for some of us. Sure, Jyoti. I would invite all of you with all the uh, stuff that you guys have been sharing with me. You know, investing in stocks will be like building the first floor of the building without building the ground floor. Can the first floor of the building sustain itself in air? It can't. You need to build the ground floor, the pillars of the building. the same way is with financial foundation if you don't build your financial foundation it ain't going to happen for you some of you said i'm not saving enough i'm not growing my money enough my money is lying idle i am dependent 
Now that clearly informs you that foundation is missing. Okay? So don't jump to first floor without building the ground floor of your building. Sure, Anita, I will share shortly about one of our flagship courses. Good amount to start investing if you've learned the methodology and you know these are the great mutual funds or stocks or other investments to buy, then you, know, you could even begin with a thousand rupees a month. And our beginners have started small and they increased their investments over time. So that's how. Buying gold would be better than risking money in stocks. Well, if you had invested your money in 1970 in stocks, gold, then in stocks, your return would have been 2,700%. Okay. While in gold, it would just be about 100%. Okay. And this is like a very, very long period to tell you that it may occur to you like that because we've been like, we love gold as a country, but it's not a great return generating investment. There is far more available. So you could make your money work harder, but first you got to educate yourself for it. Okay, what steps to be taken before we invest in an IPO, Sweta? Like I said, if you can judge that the company's financial health is strong, because IPO is what? A company is bringing an IPO because it wants to get listed in the stock market. So if you can judge the financial health of the company and you know it's good, you can invest in that IPO. Yeah, Sweta, what do I refer to financial foundation? I'm going to show up shortly in a course that we have introduced, the personal finance blueprint. We are going to share that shortly. Yes, so, you know, like we can only do so much in these 90 minutes, right? Like uh, Anita is asking, how do I make a good decision on life insurance, health insurance, purchasing something expensive with a plan for that expense? RDs, what I'm, you know, along with, you know, planning for bigger life goals, how do I build the income sources through investments? Now, these are some of the aspects of financial foundation. Okay? Some of you were asking, what, what is financial foundation? Well, these are some of the pillars of your financial foundation. And this is what I'm going to introduce you. I'm sure, you know, I cannot answer so many things in the 90 minutes session. Definitely, I want to say that. Say that. Yeah, RDs are, RDs, FDs, savings account, hardly any returns. Now guys, before we move any forward, I want to ask, a few questions from some of you. Okay. And my first question is, and before I ask that question, I wanna say thank you so much for deriving value from the last one hour for your own money life and for your own goals. Now my first question to you, how many of you realize there's a lot more to learn as far as implementing the knowledge is concerned. Like whatever we've shared today, there's far more to learn for implementing that knowledge. Just type yes. Yes, got that. Ratna, Raisa, Ayushi, all of you. Nita, yes. Huh? Whole lot more to learn before we can implement this. Now my second question to you. How many of you realize that by not implementing this knowledge, you will be struggling and grinding for the rest of your life? Like you'll be using the old fashioned ways that you've always been trying. You've not gotten results, but you will just continue to try them. And if you're not using a proven system, 
which is implementing which is implemented by over 4000 women that i showed you in the webinar you know if you don't use this you're going to grind and struggle yeah, i'm already struggling i love that ujwala thanks for being vulnerable that's that's what's yeah it's going to be a, a constant struggle otherwise and guys that's why we've you know we've brought in our personal finance blueprint okay that's why we introduced money gym program which is our ultimate training program and you know before i go on to tell you more about the curriculum tell you more about the money gym program which is our ultimate training system that we've designed for women to give them access to financial freedom let me ask you because you know i'm i'm going to say this and i'm going to say this really you know with a lot of love and respect that this program is not for everyone so if you feel that this is not for you this is not your cup of tea i completely get it you can follow us on facebook that's where we do most of our lives and you can keep deriving value from the free work that we do so we give you 5 7 seconds just leave if you are somebody who is serious and you're willing to make a decision today in this webinar guys i want you to type i am serious because now i only want to talk with serious women can you say i am serious if you are serious god that right now yeah i am serious because guys decisions change destiny especially financial destiny and people who decide without sitting on the fence are the ones who will make progress in their life and i want to talk with those women who are ready to make a decision you know and and i want to tell you from our side that whatever we offer today in this webinar is the best value and we are going to give our best so you give us 1 rupee and we give you 10 rupees back in value and you can mark our words for that so thank you everyone for sharing that you are serious because i needed your permission to before i tell you more about the curriculum and now let me explain to you about our curriculum and i will share my screen to show you the details so guys women on wealth money gym program the personal finance blueprint it's the ultimate training system which is designed to give you access to financial freedom like i said decisions change destiny especially financial destiny so here are the details so money gym program is a six steps program in step number 1 you build a vision for yourself step number 2 you identify your current financial situation you identify where all your money is going what is your net worth what's happening with your finances Step number 3 you identify the gap between where you are financially and where you want to be financially in your life. Step number 4 you build your financial plan especially your retirement plan within the program and you become your own financial planner. Step number 5 you learn to build your investment portfolio without depending on anybody in your life. So you learn how to identify equity mutual funds so there is like i said a step by step methodology to pick good equity mutual funds you learn the methodology within the program and you begin investing in at least one equity mutual fund within the program you practice the methodology and you identify one mutual fund and you start investing in it within the program or if you already have a portfolio of mutual funds that you invested in with you know like on tips from anywhere then you will manage to see if that's the right fund that you are invested in okay you learn the difference between gold bonds gold funds and physical gold 
you learn the difference between the three and you start investing in one of these within the program and you also learn about various other saved instruments step number 6 you build financial integrity in your life a balance between immediate gratification and your goals one of you asked how do i balance my expenses and my goals this is that work in step number 6 so guys please take a photograph if you need of these six steps so that they are with you next what you take away from these six steps by working on these steps you get access is to coming out of living paycheck to paycheck you become debt free you increase your savings by at least 25% you build a vision for yourself and you get clarity on your financial goals you become comfortable in asking for money and talking about it with people in your life you learn the basics of financial planning especially retirement planning and you become your own financial planner in your life you build an investment portfolio for yourself you learn the step by step methodology to pick good equity mutual funds gold bonds gold funds and other safe investments so this is a lifetime of value that you take away it's like speaking english once you've learned how to speak it you keep speaking you keep practicing and you've mastered it and then you know it for the rest of your life the same way is with finances you learn them you master them and then you know them for the rest of your life so for the rest of your life you're not dependent on anybody once you've learned everything that the personal finance blueprint has to give you and now coming to more details this is a two and a half months program guys we meet once a week for one hour each week the total sessions are 10 so it's a 10 week program and we meet one hour each week for 10 weeks and once you complete the 10 week program successfully you join a community of money jammers and this is right now a free community that you can join after you complete the program the community meets once a month on zoom on the first saturday every month and they continue to work on the system and any challenges they face we continue to overcome them together so it's not just a program it's a program followed up by the community and the meetups and the next batch is starting on october 10th which is a saturday 11 am to 12 pm sharp for 10 saturdays so we will meet for 10 saturdays from october 10th same time 11 am to 12 pm for 10 saturdays here are the payment details the total program fee your investment in yourself is 20000 rupees in a batch you pay this in installments you pay 2000 rupees to book your seat now you pay 8000 at least 20 days before the session begins and you pay the balance 10000 after three sessions and before the fourth session of the program so you're paying 10000 before you begin the program and 10000 you're paying after three sessions and before the fourth session of the program so 2000 you will book your seat now okay with 2000 rupees 8000 rupees you will pay by september 22 Ten thousand rupees you will pay after three sessions and before the fourth session, which is by October thirtieth. And this is where you can Google Pay or Paytm the two thousand rupees now. So just take a photograph, guys. And once you've made the two thousand rupee payment or via Google Pay or Paytm, you can send the screenshot on WhatsApp on the same number, and this is my phone number. so that we can send you the registration form and other details okay so please note this number down take a photograph so that you can pay up 2000 rupees okay we can close the facebook live here and anybody who's watching here on facebook live can you know get in touch with us the link on whatsapp is right there shital you can close this